what's going on guys welcome back to light skin gaming in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can make millions of dollars using the hanger in grand theft auto 5. if you're new to grand theft auto 5 or just got the hanger and are looking forward to using the hanger but don't know how this video will help clarify how to use that and whether or not the hanger is a good business for you as well as if you are choosing to pick up a hanger in the future or are looking to pick up a hanger right about now this would be the perfect time as the hangers are 50% off right now until May 28th. So if you want to get a hanger, you're going to have to go up on the D-pad, bringing up your phone and then go to May's bank floor closures. To do this, you can go through the money and services tabs and then you'll see May's bank floor closures right there. Click enter site and then go up into the military base in the top left hand corner of the map. There's a whole bunch of Fort Zancudo hangers any of them will suffice buy the cheapest one honestly to me i don't think there's that big of a difference between each location but right now they are 50 percent off and the reason why i choose this location is because you get access to the military base meaning you can get tanks and lasers for free as well as you get access to it so when you fly over it you are safe as well as it acts as a good defense for you so it's super beneficial to go ahead and get that i recommend when you purchase your hanger that you get the workshop as well um, if you can't afford it right now that's fine but it is 50% off so now would be the best time to pick it up so the workshop is definitely something and probably the only upgrade I'd recommend getting on the hanger as it will give you guys some extra capabilities later on uh, which I'll show you in the video so as you can see here you need to be a VIP or CEO or MC president to manage or work the hanger so to do that you need to go on your interaction menu now, to be a VIP, you need $50,000 in your bank account. You will not need to spend the $50,000. You just need to have the $50,000 or you need to have a CEO office to register as a CEO or a motorcycle club um, to register as a motorcycle club president. So to do that, you're simply going to bring up the interaction menu and to bring up the interaction menu on Xbox, it's the little two squares. Um, you just want to hold the little two square button. It's in the middle of the controller on the left hand side. You just hold that down for a few seconds and the interaction menu will pop up. On PlayStation, you just hold that touchpad down for a few seconds. It will pop up and M key on PC and your interaction menu will pop up. So once you get in your interaction menu, you're going to want to go to Sekiro serve. And once you go there, you're just going to click register as a CEO or VIP. And if you have a motorcycle club president and don't have the other two, you're just going to go down to motorcycle club president business or motorcycle club and um, register as a motorcycle club president. So now that you've registered as one of those three, you can sit down on your computer and start working on the computer. So once you enter the computer, you're going to be put on the overview tab, but the source tab is the most important. The reason why the source tab is the most important as it's going to help you also bring in some supplies and cargo, but it's super important to understand how your profits actually work in the game. Narcotics, chemicals, and medical supplies are all organized in the top left hand corner of the screen as they are the most profitable. So those are tier one things to collect and sell. And then you have animal materials arts and antiques and jewelry and they are tier two they are the second most profitable and then tobacco and alcohol and counterfeit goods are the third most profitable but i would forget those two all together a lot of people will sell animal materials arts and antiques and jewelry supplies as their bonus kicks in a little bit earlier than the narcotics and chemicals uh, narcotics chemicals and medical supplies are the ones that i would recommend selling and gathering as a solo player and you'll see why i recommend that later on in the video so you can see here i have I haven't run the hanger that much because it's completely useless to me based on how I have my businesses set up. But let's take a look at the overview panel. So the overview panel is super interesting in the fact that total stock is 50 um, total. So between all the different types of stocks, you could only have 50 stock within your entire hanger. So you can have 30 narcotics, 10 chemicals and 10 medical supplies and you're full. You cannot collect or hold any more. So this is super important to keep in mind when you're going for bonuses. Um, you can also see your steals completed and a whole bunch of stats that don't really matter for most players. So overall, this page is kind of useless. The only thing that might be a little bit useful is the total stock panel. So now we're going to take a look at the sell. So this is where you can see how much each individual stocks, uh, 
This is where you'll see where each individual cargo will sell for as well as how much they'll sell for together as well as how much you have of each. So this is super important to keep in mind and the 5th out of or the 14 out of 50 and the 16 out of 50 and the 0 out of 50 those are actually really important to understand and how we're going to deal with them so we can maximize our bonuses and get our profits up now the way you're going to run these businesses are going to be a little bit different compared to a solo player compared to a group of players so if you have friends you will make the most amount of profit um, but if you're a solo player you can still make lots of profit and if you need friends or need someone to play with or help you sell once in a while, look in the comment section below, ask, say, hey, I'm on this platform. This is my tag. I would like help running this business. And you can do that in the comment section below. So to source cargo, you're going to want to click chemicals or the top three that I told you. Click select and say, yes, we're good to go. The cool thing about sourcing cargo in this business is that it doesn't cost you any money. The missions are fairly simple and straightforward. Some of them are a big pain, especially if you're solo, but I do recommend you go ahead and source those top three. Um, if you have a Hydra or a Havoc or a Buzzard or your own custom vehicle that you like to use for flying missions, a lot of the missions will allow you to use them. So you can just park that outside the hangar or go back inside the hangar and pick up your custom air vehicle. So you can use those for the missions instead of picking up the vehicle they provide but they always provide a vehicle for you to complete the mission which is super awesome on GTA 5's part instead of being toxic as they usually are. <laughs> so missions are pretty straightforward you either intercept a point or collect the crate destroy something and then collect the crate and bring it back. You can only have receive a maximum of four crates at once so if you have four people in your squad total including yourself you will get four crates if you have eight people in your motorcycle club business as you're running the hangar you will only get four crates so a ceo is the most you'll ever need to run this business a full ceo crew is the most you'll ever need it's kind of sucks because if you were able to source eight crates that would be super awesome but clearly gta knows better than that and i think that's something they should consider changing in the future because this business isn't as profitable as it could be. So there's a cool tip that you can do is you can fly into the circle to drop off the chemicals or supplies or whatever you cargo you decided to deliver. You can drive into that circle they place in front of the hangar or you can fly over the hangar and spam right on the D-pad to drop the supplies on top of your hangar and the hangar will actually accept that supplies in. So you don't have to go in and out of the hangar if you're a solo player. This is super beneficial if you get a multi crate mission you can go right ahead and just fly over spam right on the d-pad and go get another crate as if one of your teammates aren't available at the time or if something goes wrong selling missions are pretty straightforward as well you're just gonna have to complete the task they ask you to complete whether that's delivering a piece of cargo some of the missions will actually ask you to bring back the piece of uh, the aircraft for extra RP. Let me tell you, it's not worth the 500 RP in my opinion. I would definitely skip doing that. Do not bother bringing back the vehicle as it's going to take a long time for a lot of these vehicles to be brought back to the hangar. Unless, of course, you're going back to the hangar to source more cargo, then hey, why not go ahead and bring back that vehicle for the extra RP. All right, so here are the bonuses. When the bonuses kick in, here's when the profits kick in. Here's the cooldowns. Somebody put this together. I'll leave a link to this um, in the description box below so you guys can take a look at this because I'm sure it won't be clear on all your devices. So if you want to take a look at that, this is super useful to help you understand how to make the most profits out of this business. Now I'm going to go over it really quickly because I don't want to bore you guys to death any more than I already have. So let's take a look here. So for this chart, the stock has been ranged from least profitable to most profitable. So from counterfeit to narcotics. So tobacco and counterfeit hits their 5% bonus at five stock, then a 10% bonus and then a 15% bonus. So at every five increments of crates, they receive an extra 5% bonus. For the low profit they sell for, they only sell for 52,000 at 5, 110,000 at 10, and then 15, uh, um, 172,000 at 15 crates. So it's definitely not worth running those. Now jewelry is a little bit different story. At 10 crates they receive a 12% bonus and I think that's why a lot of solo players opt in to run these businesses. Because at 10 crates a 12% bonus puts them at around 12, 112,000 
dollars for every 10 crates they source and they can source 30 of these making around 300 and something thousand dollars rotating over and over again because their cooldowns are only going to be around two minutes each so they have all the time in the world to do this but if you are a high level player and know that the long game is always the best game, you will know that running medical supplies, chemicals, and narcotics are way better off. And the reason being is at 25 crates, you'll receive a 35% bonus and that bonus stays all the way until 45 crates. And then when you hit 50 crates, a full 50 crates of one type of supply. So if you hit 50 crates of medical supplies, you'll receive a 70% bonus. That means you'll be selling for $850,000. So as you can tell, based off these numbers, $850,000 for 50 crates isn't that great. Um, if you have a group of people and you can source three crates at a time or four crates at a time, it's not that bad. To get that $850,000 with a group of four people, you're looking at 12 and a half missions to get that $85,000. And that's only going to be paid out to one player, so it's not that great for profits in the long run. Now, the only time I'd ever run this business and go hard at this business is if it was two times money or three times money. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, this business is not worth running for the profits. Um, the only time is during those events. And if I were to do them, I would fill up one to 50 and then sell it and I'd rotate in between them and then I'd sell the lower one and then get the one up to 50. So what I would do is I'd fill medical supplies to around 25 and then chemicals to 25 and then I'd sell chemicals and then source some medical and then I'd have like 45 maybe medical and then only five um, chemicals. I'd sell the chemicals and then I'd sell the medical at 50 to get that major bonus. That's what I would do. The reason why is the cooldowns, as you can see in the top right hand corner, are super important to keep in mind if you are a solo player or have uh, players with you because it does add a minute per each crate to the cooling time. So every player you add to your group is an extra minute of cooldown. So that's how I would run the businesses if I was to do them as well as I would only do them during those double money, triple money events for the hangar. Now, with that being said, I hate to discourage you guys about the profits. There are tons and tons of benefits to having a hangar. And one of those benefits are getting free rocket homing ammo as well as a heavy sniper. Now, does that make it worth buying the hangar? No, that does not make it worth buying the hangar. But you can find this rocket ammo at the front of the hangar at the top and the sniper ammo at the back of the hangar at the middle level. So as well as the main reason why I recommend you guys buy the hangar is that you're going to be able to spawn in and request your personal aircrafts so if you bring your Hydra from Pegasus or your Kula from Pegasus and drive it to your hangar and drive it into the front of the hangar you will be able to bring it inside your hangar and make it your personal aircraft and your personal aircraft will be delivered to a suitable location nearby and those suitable locations are very usually much much closer than those Pegasus locations as well as they'll spawn in in with the upgrades you got them so for the Akula there's a tons and tons of upgrades that you can get for the Akula and that's what a lot of players don't know like I have a gold Hydra like that's pretty cool I think buying the hanger on its own getting the gold Hydra was cool enough for me that made it worth it and being able to spawn it on the side of the beach all the time is super super beneficial now the second reason is that workshop that I told you guys was super important to have and that's what makes the hangar worth it. You can modify your aircraft, make them pink, make them purple, put liveries on them, liveries on them. You can put uh, armor on your vehicles, you can add bombs, you can add um, different missiles, there's all kinds of things, different handling, the different all kinds of things it depends on what vehicle you're modifying of course the hydra is not going to be able to drop bombs on people but it gives you an idea that you can modify these vehicles super super easily as well as you can sell them so say if you bought a pegasus vehicle you don't like you can go ahead and sell that vehicle which is kind of nice and super beneficial to your pocket if you made a mistake back when you first started and didn't know what you were doing so i hope this video helps you guys understand how how to run the hangar overall the thing you want to keep in mind is only sell those top three types of cargo and ensure that you sell at 50 when it's two times or three times money if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as always